what is going on fellow wastelanders shock radio here we have so much to talk about in today's episode is it time for a six year seven year veteran of cross out to finally quit the game after all the years of grinding is it finally time to retire did they permanently take out missions that did not involve helicopters are we now forced to play helicopter mode and also it's returned the wasteland of wonders where they're gonna give away millions literally they're giving away millions of coin between all the platforms if you if you add up all the coin they're giving away so we're gonna talk about all that and more in today's crazy episode of just cross out talk with shock radio so let's get it started first of all i got this incoming gift we're gonna see what this is uh, for all the console players, Mina Camp, you'll find your car in the Blueprints Pack session. Now you own Mina Camp. Okay, whatever. I Mina Camp, cool. That's great. So anyway, am I quitting Cross Out? Well, you know, it's been six, seven years. I'm quitting. I'm done. I'm not playing anymore. I'm sick of the paywall. I'm sick of the battle passes every month. The toxicity between PlayStation and Xbox. People should be rejoicing with crossplay. And it's nothing but trash talk. I'm sick of being competitive. I don't want to build anymore. I hate it all. So I am finally quitting cross out. I'm selling my account for 10,000 US dollars. All right, guys. So uh, most of that was true. All right. But there's a few things that were not. Happy April Fools. I'm not going anywhere. You guys are stuck with me. Shock Radio is continuing to play cross out. But anyway, let's get into the other news. And now I may be sick of the paywall stuff. I may be sick of the grind. It is a bit a bit toxic between Xbox and PlayStation. Surprisingly, it should be very, very non-toxic, you know, but I guess it is what it is. Anyway, I woke up and there was no more missions that uh, didn't involve helicopters. Now, here's the kicker, guys. Here is the kicker. It says access will close in 14 hours and 42 minutes if you look over there on the right of the screen. So I think this is the devs pulling some weird shenanigans for April Fools. You see they have the Sky on Fire uh, event. Take part in combined battles on armored cars and armored aircraft. The mission for different types of combat vehicles are not separated during the event. So this is like seemingly an April Fools event where they're like, haha, now everybody has to play with helicopters because they know like some people hate helicopters. This was also like when people hated drones years ago, like literally years ago, people hated drones. And they, for April Fools, they turned everyone into a drone for the drone apocalypse event. Well, now it's here to stay. Now, originally when I looked at this uh, whole consolidation of the regular missions and the helicopter missions, I was like, well, it makes sense. Like more players, you know, less, less spread out player base. Like this is fine. But then when I looked, access closes in 14 hours, 41 minutes. So it looks like this is just, just an April Fools prank guys. We don't have to worry. Just, just, just an April Fools prank from the guys over at Gaijin playing with us. So, on to the biggest thing ever, and that is the Wasteland of Wonders event. You guys may have uh, remembered this event from a couple months ago. I believe it's been like two or three months by now, but uh, yeah. So in five days and seven hours, they will start drawing prizes. Saturday uh, the 4th, starting at 1300 oh, GMT, I guess, time is what that's gonna be. They're gonna announce 1,000 winners of the 500 and then the next day they're going to announce 500 rewards of a thousand coin and then the next day wait what, what what's yeah okay okay we're good we're good we're good i don't i don't know how to read dates apparently like so saturday sunday and then saturday. oh so it's a two weekend thing all right we're figuring this out as we go so we got a saturday uh the fourth and sunday the well, no no not the fourth all right we, we got this guys like we can read dates okay april 6th and april 7th are the first two drawings and then april 13th april 14th are the following two drawings anyway you have five days to complete these here challenges special events just just complete these special event challenges all right and you will get uh these here meat in the cans all right and you 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 put these cans in the the, the prize pool so you, your name can be picked out of one of the winners to get some of this ridiculous coin now a lot of people the last event were like oh it's, it's a scam they're not gonna give away coin blah 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 i gotta tell you they gave away coin 
And how do I know? Well, lots of players in my old clan, uh, they got coin from the last Wasteland of Wonders event. So they're definitely giving away coin. Now, some people are going to be doing sketchy things with this event. Now, what do I mean by sketchy things? Well, they're going to increase their chances of winning the event. So you got to be on the lookout for that. What do you mean they're going to increase the chances of winning the event? Well, this is a free to play game, guys. You can have as many cross out accounts as your heart desires. OK, so a lot of people are literally just going to make a bunch of accounts. They might use their their sons, their daughters, their wives, their brothers, their sisters, their uncles, their aunts accounts, and they're going to play cross out and they're going to submit uh, these meat and cans on all their alternate accounts. And then if they win the big prize or any of these prizes on the alternate account, they can just sell back and forth crappy items to transfer the gold to their main account. So unfortunately, that's what people were doing last event. I'm not sure if any like alt accounts really won the event last time, but that is what people were doing sadly. So you can increase your chances of winning by creating more cross out account and entering that way, but not really cool. I, I think I entered um, one or two drawings with my alt account uh, last event, but I was like, nah, this is a, it's too much of a grind to be grinding multiple accounts for this and B it's not really the cool thing to do. So play fair probably just do one account you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying just just grind out one account but anyway they're giving away mass coins i'm not quitting the game guys and uh hopefully <laughs> tomorrow we'll see but the missions should be uh reverted back to normal so we won't be stuck playing with helicopter builds if we don't want to guys what do you think of this this April Fools event is that have they gone too far when making us play with helicopters? Are you guys excited about uh, getting all of this juicy coin from the, uh, the 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 Wasteland of Wonders event? Now, one thing I will say about this Wasteland Wonders event, it is probably going to drive prices down. The the market has been steadily declining for all items. So honestly, I really think these Wasteland of Wonders event are doing great things for the market. I, I don't have the data, you know, I can only just go by speculation, but with the way prices are just constantly falling uh, on console, this is console, PC might be a little bit more controlled, guys. PlayStation prices are constantly dropping. I mean, Punishers were like 40 some K, 50 K, now they're down. I mean, we're looking at relic prices, they're going down, everything's going down. Purples used to go for like eight, 900, a thousand coin, right? Now, I mean, they're going for six, five, four hundred coin. I mean, absolutely insane. Could it be because of the, the mass amounts of coin they are giving away? Uh, the battle passes, they, they yield a lot of coin. I mean, it is the, the power creep, the power discrepancy between new players and longtime players finally kind of closing in with all these battle passes and events they've been running? Because I got to say, they are improving the quality of life for new players by giving these battle passes uh these free battle passes for new players things like that they are helping new players a lot let me know your thoughts about the whole market in cross out anyway what you guys think of it uh, for new players coming into the game is it kind of easier to grind with all these items being much cheaper and the battle passes all that good stuff you know and and the wasteland of wonders event they're giving away millions of coin now is this affecting the market uh, so much so much to talk about let me know in the comments below your thoughts i really appreciate you guys hanging out and being part of the channel thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video